Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs>
Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> that reference doesn't work in this version, guys. It, it, it was supposed to be like a Parappa Rappa the Rapper, uh, like, joke kind of reference, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't work with this version in Tom Kenny. And... And the whole point of these dragons being here is they didn't actually believe Spyro would make it this far. So they tried going to defeat Nasty North themselves and kind of failed. So that's why they're here. Oh, thank you for all these gems. I do appreciate. And we also have a key, even though we haven't found a chest yet. Can't remember which way I'm supposed to go, though. I can't remember which way technically leads us to the exit, and which way leads us to... Oh, you know. This way is clearly not the exit, so that's that's fine by me. Oh, good, this is the chest. Perfect. Let's get rid of this key. Nice. That wasn't very many gems, though. But there's only 400 gems here, right? So, it's not like it's a big level. We've only been recording for... Five minutes, Jesus. That enemy scared me, so I went backwards. He just had his death animation again for whatever reason. We should get to, I think, only needing ten gems once we reach the end here. Oh, wait, is it? Did we... Did I really miss gems somewhere, really? Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, we should only need 10 gems by the time we get to the end there. Hey, that rat that I accidentally killed gave me a 1-up. I almost got the achievement without needing the achievement. Yay! Anyways, that's level complete. Now, you cannot click exit level. You actually have to go through the return home portals. Otherwise, guess what? The game breaks, and, or the level breaks, and then you can't leave. Alright, there we go. And with that, we can get more gems right here. Solid. And boom, now we can go to Twilight Harbor, which is uh, an interesting level. They changed a lot here. The enemies here used to use bullets, but now they use slime for whatever reason. 11,025 is such a weird number. Like a really, really weird number. Oh, hello, Nork Commando. Let's see, we have 400 gems, 2 dragons, and obviously no skill point here. Darn Rambo Norks now. I love how the Norks have different skin colors, though. They did that in the original, too. Now, for the achievement here, you actually need to um, destroy these, like, uh, golden cog things that are around everywhere. Gears, whatever they call them. Um, I believe there's one right here that I can show you. So if you want to get the achievement, yeah, just flame all of those things right there. And you'll get it. I don't want to be killed by your sludge gun, but thank you. Oh yeah, these guys. They were a lot more intimidating when they had actual guns, but even in an E10 rated game, apparently they don't like guns. The world has gotten kind of soft, honestly. I guess it still does the job. It kind of fits Norks more. But they still hit you like you're being hit by a freaking machine gun, so... I don't know. Like I said, I like to clear as much of the area as possible before getting the uh, dragons, because that's just how I roll. Plus, these enemies can be annoying, so I'd rather them stay dead. Thank you. Stay dead, please. And we got some more gems over here. And a gem right here. Now let's go back and grab us this uh, Dragon Boy, because we do need to get him out of the way, otherwise we can't get that chest. So, it's Cosmos again from Magic Crafters. Thank you for rescuing me. You see how he's smug and said rescuing instead of uh, releasing me? Like, haha, I'm different than those dragons, fool. So, let's flame this. And we can go up here to use the supercharge. Some cash of money. Another life. We only have 47 lives. Like, we'll ever use them all, right? 
Oh. Uh, I guess you're dead too. You know our commandos aren't doing a good job at stopping Spyro. That that's for certain. Um, anything over here? Yep, nothing. I know there's a life on. I think it's this side, right? Yeah, there it is. Only 48 lives, no biggie. No biggie like Biggie Cheese, that's for sure. Nothing beats Biggie Cheese, man. If you guys remember Biggie Cheese, leave a comment in the comment section below. Now we do need the supercharge again, so we'll grab this. Honestly though, we haven't killed a single enemy since we got that dragon. But like I said, all the dragons in this game are like way too close together. And that was in the original too. Also, why did that look like a green force field instead of just green lights? There we go. That's that chest done. Still got a few gems left. We still have over 150. We have 152 to go. So, might as well grab this. Actually, no, let's clear out the room behind the dragon. I'm pretty sure he's the swamp dragon. I really thought he was actually going to shoot that gun off, but he never did for whatever reason. Kind of a weird dude. Oh, now we'll go and grab this dragon. Which is Cletus. Be on the lookout for no commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. It's funny how he was one of the ones that didn't believe in Spyro, considering the swamp ones seemed like ones that wouldn't really want to go and do anything. Aw. Oh, that guy always hits me, I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, see, it's like slime or sludge or some kind of goopy substance. Yay, more gems. And lots of norks, man. Holy norks. See, these guys aren't too bad, though, because, like, they have a predictable attack. Technically, any enemy does, but... But, 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 the, the fact that they say their sound effect too is just hilarious. It just sounds corny, man. Like, oh. And there we go. That's all the gems. And we beat the levels. Now we can go and take on the final boss. Twelve minutes in, and we've already completed all the levels here. Funny, eh? Eleven thousand four hundred twenty-five seems like a weird number, though. Ah, more gems. Nice. And boom. Level 100% completed. Now let's get some health before we go take on the boss himself. Alright, Nasty Gnork. Gnork Gadastic. There, now we're at 11,500. Radio, homeo. Time to take on the hardest, most grueling boss battle in the history of Spyro the Draconic Fool. Now, the achievement here is you actually have to loop him around five times. Which, by the way, is very time-consuming. It is... I can hear him, too. Holy jeez, Spyro. You went into, like... You went to the sun and back. Now, 500 gems, and then perfect. He's a little bit annoying until you get to, like, his second phase, where he can't actually hurt you anymore. He's not necessarily hard, he's just annoying. Because he's gonna constantly be... There we go, we got the key early on, so that means we can go and grab all these gems around here. So hopefully we don't miss anything, you know? And then we gotta go and open up this door, I'm pretty sure. No, come back here, dude. Oh man, I didn't wanna have to chase you around multiple times. Oh, oh well. Gonna have to now, because I don't wanna miss these gems, that's for certain. Get back here. There we go. Their sound effects are so adorable. Oh, yeah, it's only pointing at him, so. 
Whoa, I don't know how that didn't hit me. Oh, jeez louise, I don't know how that didn't hit me either. So yeah, now the, most of the level is just going to be chasing him. You will probably have to chase him around the loop twice, because you're going to want to yeah, you're going to have to, because uh, you want to collect all the gems. He doesn't actually attack you, though, when you're running down this pathway. So don't worry about him, you know, coming out to damage you or anything silly like that. Why does it feel like I'm missing one... Oh, never mind. There's a red gem. I don't like being at a, an odd number because then that makes you feel like you missed something. Yeah, now we should be, yeah, in intervals of 25. So yeah, now you just have to chase him around a little bit. And you have to flame him when he's at that pedestal. You can't actually catch up to him here. So don't worry about it. He does look ridiculous, though, because he's such a big dude with these little legs. And he sure can run fast, but if he only has magic spells, he may not actually have anything to deal with a dragon. There we go, we hit him. Now, this part can also be kind of annoying, too. And remember, if you die here, you have to do the entire level over, so... He's kind of an interesting boss fight. He's the only one where there are no checkpoints. And, by the way, he can actually hit you right here, so be careful. And there we go. He's done. And we got the skill point because we got the life. And there's the skill point. Nice. We beat the game. Except for one level. Sorry I took so long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. And there we go. We beat the main story of this level, or of this game, but we won't go through the credits until we actually beat the third game. Because it's the same credits for all three, unlike the original Spyro games. Now, there's one more dragon. Hmm. Magnus Bane. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Huh. You were saying dun 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 Here we go to the puke green skies of Nasty's loot. I don't know why they didn't call it Nasty's treasure hoard. That would have sounded a little better than Nasty's loot. Yeah, and this level is really interesting because it's a weird one because for whatever reason, Spyro can actually fly. It really makes you question, like, what allows Spyro to fly here? Because they're like, oh no, I'm stuck. Just kidding, fools. I can now fly for whatever silly reason. Yeah, and the only gems you find here are golds and purples. There are 2,000 gems and nothing else. And the only enemies here are thieves. Oh yeah, also you can't glide up there. You actually have to hop up on here. And I hear thieves everywhere. They're just going nan 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 in my ear. I do not approve. Yeah, and they'll drop these keys that allow you to open up doors, which allow you to actually fly up higher, and then eventually unlock the final door. And there we go. Thank you for the key. Ooh, purple. Now, I did see something over here. Yeah, some gems. Alright, okay, so it looks like they just... I thought maybe the metal ones always had purple, then the uh, wooden ones would have, like, gold. But no, nah, it just seems to be whatever they felt like putting in them. Because there's a purple one there. There's two purple ones in those, so... I hear a plane. Hmm, you want hear a chugga-chugga in the background? Oh, wait, no. Not a train, a plane. Oh, I understand. Oh yeah, this guy's kind of dumb, because he just runs around in a circle. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. I keep getting distracted by all these gems. Also, the camera, since it, like, moves super fast, it, like, has a hard time following them. But there we go. Now, that should open up that one that we found a, found over here. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot these gems right here. Kind of don't want to miss anything, so let's grab these. There we go. I think we can get up here. Yeah. And this one opens this one, which releases a plane amongst the enemy, or amongst the enemies, amongst the civilians. Hey, I can almost get you. Come back here, you. How do you expect me to catch you? What the heck was that game? Just like, head bash, head bash, head bash, head bash. Oh, come on, there's no way he should have sped up. Um, excuse me, game, you do know I can't go any tighter, right? Wait, where did he go? He went through me? How did he go through me? Oh, you can kind of just cheese him, okay. Oh, that's that key. I believe this is actually, yeah, this just opens up a higher... Oh, no, I remember what this does. No. I hate this one. This one is just bogus. It's the same one, but he likes to just speed up abruptly. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, he's a, he's a pedal plane. I just realized he's pedaling. Oh, that's ridiculous, game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. There we go. That worked out way better that time. And I believe that's the last thief. Now... We have to go and flame all these fireworks, open up all of these chests around the area. This one should open up this one, right? I'm gonna sit on it. Aw, oh, it doesn't let me sit on it. Ooh, lots of gold gems from that one. Oh wait, we're still missing one, which means that there's probably a firework over here. No? Hang on, let's go open up this door, because this is the last door, and I believe this is only for height. Yeah, this is only for height, and one gem, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one gem. Um, we'll get that out of the way. And then we still need one more firework. Now, where was it? Was it at the end here? It might be at the end. No? Oh, there it is. They used to be bigger in the original... And then they change them in uh, uh, two and three, where the rockets are actually huge. And just like that, we can now go and grab all these gems. Now, fun fact, want to see something really magnificent? Now you don't get to see. Look at all these purple gems. Oh yeah. Lots of money. And there's all 2,000 gems. 100% complete. Now we get to return home. I guess we can look at the bonus features and then call it an episode, right? <sighs> Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say, for every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh, here we go again. Yeah, that doesn't actually happen, by the way. Well, there is no sequel to Nasty Nork. Nasty Nork was supposed to show up, like, two or three more times in the Spyro series, but never did. Now, we can go to the uh, extras, which we have to go here, and then we have to go... 
here to the art gallery. So we have Spyro the Dragon, Spyro, Spyro and Sparks, Dragon Statue, Norks, we got the Commandos, the Desert Ones, mainly the end of the game ones. They're Dreamweaver Fools, Giant Pansy, Armored Horror and Demon Dogs, Toasty, Dr. Shemp and Blowhard, Metalhead, Jacques and Nasty Nork, Artisans, Dragon, Delvin and Gavin, Nestor and Thor, Trondo and Boris, Magnus and Conan, Xander and Jarvis, Lucas and Eldred, Cyphron and Bubba, Damon and Zeke, Capano and Revelo, and then last but not least, Unica and Mudada. So if you guys enjoyed this series, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Patreon and the Discord in the description below, and I will see you guys all next time when we start Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage. What did I think of this game? 8 out of 10.